Hey athletes, so tell me, what part of my body is doing the work when I do this? Yeah, I can't tell you either. I have no idea. I've watched so many people do bicep curls or whatever the heck they try to consider that motion. And I've seen it do, done with tons of weight. How do you know what muscle is supposed to be working? Yeah. I bet it's strenuous. I bet it's really challenging to put 90 pounds in your hand and, and flail it around and try to control it somewhat. But how do you know what muscle's doing the job if every single time you do it, it looks different than it did the repetition before? What I'm talking about is the muscle that moves first, that's your prime mover. So in a bicep curl, if your arm is fully straightened and we bend at the elbow, the first thing that should move is your bicep, right? If your shoulder comes forward first and then you bicep curl, your shoulder's taking a lot of that brunt, right? Plus you're displacing your body and it's in a weird place. If the movement happens in the, shoulder, uh, in the bicep, perfect, okay? Let's talk about a push-up. At the bottom of a push-up, if the first thing to move is your chest, your pectoral start to come together in a contraction type fashion from here to here, boom, we know your chest is active. If your first thing to move is your hips, right? Because your hips shoot back or your shoulders move or your traps or something like that, that's what's doing the work, right? I've seen people do some plyometric type push-ups where you're trying to explode off of the ground. Some people do claps or something like that. And it looks like it goes butt, then arms and then they'll come back down and then butt and then arms and they feel as though justified that, wow, my chest is really strong because I can get my body to leave the ground in a push-up like fashion. When in all reality, you're just doing kind of a trick by throwing your ass in the air, okay? Be very conscious of what is doing the work when you're doing the work. Because again, if you're doing a push-up to move or to modify or change what your chest is or looks like, you need your chest to work. If you're doing push-up for push-up's sake, get out of our gym, okay? Do push-ups for push-up's sake somewhere else because when you get hurt, we don't want to be liable.